Hey everyone, it's Rida from Rida's Journal. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm excited today because I'll be sharing my August monthly setup with you. So for this month theme, I'm going to be doing a coconut theme. So I picked these really fun warm colors to go with turquoise and gray shades. I'll be using turquoise and light brown from MNG watercolors, gray shade from Lyra, mustard from Stettler, and a turquoise fine liner from Stettler, plus a mustard Tombow brush pen. And of course, I'm using my simple yet cheap dotted grid journal which I brought from a local store only for a thousand rupees. I've been wanting to do some sort of like pattern for my monthly setup from a while now. And so I decided August was the perfect month to do that. Last month, my theme was cocktails. And it was so much fun to do, but I decided I wanted a little break from using too many colors like I did in my previous theme. So this was a really really easy theme to do. I knew I wanted to have coconuts and then have an abstract turquoise pattern giving a background to coconuts. So I just kind of repeated this pattern throughout this setup as you will kind of see and it was very relaxing and easy to do which is just something I needed right now to help give, to help give my brain a little bit of a break. So now that I have kind of introduced the theme for this month I am going to shift to a little bit of how I gathered all of the stationery and journal and all the other stuff behind the camera because I feel like there are many people willing to start bullet journaling like me here in Pakistan and uh, I would love to be a source of help to them it's been it's been a quite a journey for me because I just started bullet journaling back in I guess February this year and I bought this plain black dotted grid journal from a local store near my house and uh, by the way I am from Lahore so most of, most of my stationery is from Daraz plus a uh, tip for shopping on Daraz is that before placing any order I would seriously seriously recommend that uh, do take a sneak peek at the reviews below because uh, reviews, I I believe reviews are a quite help for us before ordering and uh, relying completely for such useful things on the seller. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that um, Taraz is the only reliable and yet cheap platform for buying journaling stuff and. Uh, when it comes to buying brush pens, I would recommend using MNG watercolor brush pens. Firstly, because as a beginner, when you come to this a whole, a whole, a whole lot of a community, which is the bullet journaling community, it has hundreds and millions of different stuff going on. So you can tackle with all of the things at one time. I remember it took me a long while to learn hand lettering and all that stuff. So uh, spending too much on uh, color brush pens and all that stuff, I wouldn't seriously recommend that. And uh, secondly, these are very cheap and easily available literally literally at any stationery shop and uh, when it comes to a great variety of colors, uh, it is also uh, easily affordable I would say because I bought 48 colors for only 2000 rupees I also uh, 
I also looked at Miniso stationery, but although it was an imported quality stuff, but I couldn't get such a variety of colors in it, and uh, it was, I believe, it was quite a bit expensive. And if I'm uh, right about Instagram stationery shops, they sell at uh, I would say a double price from the Raz. Honest review, I would say. And if you talk about Crayola, Tombow, Zebra, My Liner stuff that everyone else is using is quite expensive here in Pakistan. So what I mean is a Tombow brush pen, uh, which is a, uh, which I am talking about, is a set of ten, is actually fifty five hundred rupees. And if you're a beginner, I seriously wouldn't recommend spending that much money on uh, these uh, imported quality brush pens. And for this black outlining, I've been using uh, Sakura Microns um, in the size of zero three, zero five. And for the detailing in uh, inside of the coconuts, I've used double zero five. Which is, I would say, are the perfect sizes for any journaling stuff and any sketching over or outlining and all that. Plus, uh, these uh, these pens are easily available here for all of us and at a very reasonable price. I mean, I bought all the seven or I guess eight sizes in these microns only for 1100 rupees and if there's any question that you have about a thread that I complete whether it's the box size or the colors that I use so you can find all the information down below in the description box but if there's something that you are wanting to know and it's not there just send me a message in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all for you. Here I am uh, completing my mood tracker for August. I just had so much fun creating this giant coconut and this uh, cute uh, umbrella. And I really like how it turned out to be. Here I would like to add that uh, I'll be creating many more spreads for August but in the other part of the video so that it wouldn't uh, make the video too long for you guys to watch it. It's I guess already been 9 minutes of this video and uh, so I'll be creating a part 2 for this and a separate video for the weeklies. So buckle up people because you will be seeing so many videos from uh, Reda's channel from now on for making the habit tracker I used the silicone stamps which I brought from the Raz again <laughs> and uh, I don't want too many habits to keep track of because I think that's useless because last time I used it I made them in my previous setup and now I'm kind of bored of that because it's very hard to keep up with them so here it is bye till now I'll see you in my next video